Yo, it's Dakota and I'm finally back with another video. We're actually uh, going on a road trip starting today. Um, we're going to Arkansas to play Central Arkansas. Then we're going to Alabama to play North Alabama. Looking forward to this road trip and hopefully uh, getting two wins. I'm actually headed to practice right now. Probably just gonna go in the hot tub for a little bit just to get my muscles warm. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And let's get two wins. You see this backpack combo? One in the front, one in the back. That's wild work. So, um, the coach gave us some time to actually go back home and um, get anything that you guys probably forgot. So, um, I realized I forgot my headphones. So, also I need to get um, some extra socks. Uh, I guess I only brought one pair of socks, so didn't mean to do that. While I'm home, I'm gonna also shower and then get some food at this one. Um, food place called chicken cone it's like chicken and waffles but in a waffle cone this is my third time going this week all right guys so i got my extra socks and my headphones and uh now i'm gonna get some food i'm actually super excited to go to chicken cone so if you don't know what chicken cone is it's like they put a they put like the chicken instead of like a, being chicken and waffles it's like it's a chicken, it's like a waffle cone. And then like they put the chicken in. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's basically chicken inside the waffle. Like this is what I was trying to explain. Like this is, this is amazing. This is actually so good that I uh, bought a second one. Okay, so I was gonna eat it in the parking lot, but then I saw the time and I needed to be there in like 10 minutes. So I, I'm probably just gonna eat it in the locker room or on the bus. But it was even good for real. Like, bruh, it was even good for real. Alright guys, so we're flying charter. Yeah, that's it, right there. Um, we're actually about to get on the plane right now, so I'll catch you guys later.
so I've decided I think I'm gonna go to the fitness room in the hotel so I can warm up a little bit more and stretch and lift. So I'm gonna go change, go to the gym, and yeah. Fit check. Fit check. Nice. Now this rivalry has had everything. <laughs> Dan Cortez. The hottest club, I think, for Central Arkansas. You talk about giving up a lot of points. You can score a lot of points, but if you can't stop anyone, you're going to have a hard time winning games. Is that three-pointer another quality look? It was wide open for Johnson. He just missed it, but another offensive rebound. Zach Anderson is feasting down low. He. Cato, another long two. Largy, the big board. Everything for Central Arkansas has been 15 feet or further out. They're not getting good looks on the interior. Another three. <laughs> Count it, Zach Anderson. Emergency mode without all a Sun guard Cameron Hunter all season. And Johannes Kiersapu has been ineffective as of late. Meanwhile, Keyshawn Kelman, the most efficient shooter in the nation. Daughtery. Can light him up quick. He goes inside, but his shot blocked from behind by Johnson. Eagles move quickly. The pass to Dalian. Spot on the money. Seven minutes against Kennesaw State and was perfect from the field. The alley and the oop. The That's floor. Dunn City, baby. <laughs> Dakota Rivers, another fifth-year player with a flush. Now he wants the shot, and now he'll take the points. Isaiah Thompson's second three. Anderson gets into the action, but watch this. Dakota Rivers throws it down. It's all Eagles early. Anything you can do, I can do better, and with a flourish. Off. Is all Florida Gulf Coast. The team just went under 60% shooting from the field. And, and that'll now, raise a few now points. they're back over it. Ramir Barno, the freshman, is making the most of his minutes. There's on their end. And the majority of those rebounds, defensive rebounds. 13 have been defensive. Off the screen from <laughs> Kelman, it's academic for Isaiah Thompson, his third three. Central Arkansas, typically known for their switching style of defense. They're really good about communicating. And man. Just a stronger play by another graduate student. Say hello to Franco Miller, Jr. Here comes Miller again. The spin against Guy King. That is a sixth-year player working against a true freshman. 
Guy King. Second chance at the triple, still won't fall. An offensive rebound. Wild scrum, and it's out of bounds to FGCU. Errant pass by Ola Wakari. I want to go back to what you said about the transfer portal a second ago, though. We talked so much about how mid-majors get picked apart by Power 5 programs. If you have a player that has a good season, the Power 5 gives to Johnson. Dalian Johnson as the shot clock expires. And Clintman can't believe it. That's a six foot nine closeout with a hand in the face. What a shot by Johnson. On their faces. They know they basically have to be perfect to get back in the game. Speaking There's of perfect, Keyshawn Kelvin. That's <laughs> in 35 rebounds a game. Zach Anderson. Not much to rebound when you don't miss a shot. Get of the first half. We thought that one had a chance. It, was taken, spoke too it was taken too late, but the way Florida Gulf Coast shot in that first half. Eastern Kentucky because this Eagles team if they shoot like this can absolutely challenge the Colonels for a potential first place or tournament victory in the A-Sun. It's the most points they've scored all season in the first half. 49 to 25. A big Eagle lead and they have the ball. Johnson got up in the air. They give it right back to him as the shot clock winds down. Dalian Johnson is finding his stride. It's a three-point barrage. He was the A-Sun Newcomer of the Week when he hit the game-winning shot against, at the time, 7th-ranked Florida Atlantic. Florida Gulf Coast signature win of the season. And, well, their performance today, you see how they did it. Isaiah Thompson has his fourth three-pointer of the ball game. Another long three. Boy, there's not a shot on the floor. Dalian Johnson won't try. The offensive rebound, the put back by Keyshawn Kelman. Kelman working against Cato. The double team. Kelman. Oh, oh. That's how you lead the nation in shooting percentage. So field is stripped. Miller in transition will slow things down. Now tries to blow by Guy King. Once again, the experience all belongs to Dunk City. Dunk City and Dakota Rivers, his two dunks have been the most explosive of the night. In this game. This time it's Johnson. Dalian Johnson, another one. His fourth. I gotta get on your level. Oh. Johnson, another, make it five threes for Dalian Johnson. Big rebound and a flush, Dakota Rivers. Anytime Rivers touches the ball around the rim as Guy King can't finish on the up and under, but man, Rivers is impressive. As Florida Gulf Coast jumped out to an enormous lead at a 24 point lead at halftime and never relinquished this is hey you want to give any updates about the game one by 30 dakota had three dunks and uh what about you bro you had that little you had that floater though up an average over 90 points a game in their last four also in the last four is blaze Vespi lays it in there it is yeah i had a cool two points about to go shower <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all i'm about to go to sleep long day big w i'll see y'all tomorrow peace
All right, guys, uh, quick update. So the room I was in before, um, I was with my teammate, Blaze. Um, it smelled so bad that we actually got kicked out of the room and they put me in a single room. So I'll be here by myself. Um, it's actually kind of nice. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, you know, got my own bed. Got me like a little couch right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I go in the bathroom. Got me like a little sliding, you know what I'm saying? A little sliding shower, a little, little slide, a little slide door. Look, you see that? You see the way that slide? Oh my God. Okay, slide it back. So yeah, this is uh, what the room's looking like uh, for the rest of the trip. All right, y'all. Game day tomorrow. Lights out. I door dash some food and some water. This is Chili's. Just wanted to show you guys. I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to eat right now. So I ain't gonna lie, Chili's. Y'all gotta step y'all game up. It wasn't even that good for real. Y'all could have cooked it a little bit longer or something. Now I gotta go take a nap. Unsatisfied. Like y'all really could have done better. Damian Force is the rock solid pillar of this program. 
dominates the boards, averaging nine points and eight and a half rebounds. FGCU gets the opening possession tonight. Underneath, that's Largy in no man's land. Trap, they kick it out left wing. A drive in, Johnson rolls that one in. Johnson doesn't make a lot of twos, so you like for if you're an Eagles fan, you got to be excited that that guy hit an early two. Maybe some threes will start to follow, which is his specialty. Hard tonight, one of five from the floor, but just down three here early. The lines are switching one through five here defensively. Into the lane, up with the right hand. Look at the finish there from Dalian Johnson. And Dalian Johnson, known as a guy who's hunting threes, but here he's taking what the defense gives him. North Alabama's trying to run him off the line. Rebound underneath by Dakota Rivers. Both of these teams just a mess right now offensively. FGC, one of their last 10. North Alabama, one of their last 12. Damian Forrest underneath has it pinned, blocked away by Rivers. Dakota Rivers is such a good player for this Florida Gulf Coast team. Largy. If you watch Florida Gulf Coast and college basketball, you love a player like Largy. He does so many little things. He's the physical enforcer. Rivers with the basketball out on the wing. Goes baseline. Two big men going at it, and a foul will be there against Damian Forrest. And this is all just Dakota Rivers being patient, working. Guy that played 100 now, 118 games for the Eagles, and look at him just go right at Damian Forrest, knowing he's out of position and off balance. Trying to tie the game here, and does. Back into the game comes Keyshawn Kelman. Left wing, long, three good. First made three of the night for FGCU. They had missed their first five. Shot clock winding down on this possession. Eagles lead by two. Into the lane, turnaround, up shot good by Anderson. Dallas Howell, K.J. Johnson. That one goes. How about the finish there from K.J. Johnson? Incredible finish from K.J. Johnson, who took a little contact. Finesse off the glass. Went baseline off the jab step. Great work by K.J. Johnson. Lions down one. Zach Anderson strong into the lane against the double team. Finishes it off. First half. Left side. A fadeaway won't go, but a battle underneath. And how about Dakota Rivers hammering one home? Offensive rebounds are a catalyst for this team and Dakota Rivers rises up and rocks the rim. A three from the corner up and good. That is Isaiah Thompson. Screen from Anderson. Ball loose, won't get a shot off. Will it count? Doesn't matter. That's the end of the first half. The same in this game and it's been fun so far. Do you expect the same physicality in the second half? No question, if not more. Right, I mean, you're going to expect to see these teams continue to do it. What we expect here in the second half, with that physicality, nobody for either team in any foul trouble. No, it's a really well-played game. I mean, these two teams really doing a great job. I mean, right there, that's good defense, better offense there by Anderson. and Underneath, double team. The big man, Kelman, tries to go up. How Look at that finish. How in the world do you get that to go? Trying to create off the dribble, up with the right hand. Whoa, look at the touch by Will Susi. He leads all scores with 15. Will Susi come into the game averaging six points per game in a Sun play, and he is absolutely carrying his North Alabama team. Tony Pujol and KJ Johnson fired up. The Lions explode off the bench. Deep right corner, quick drive by Miller. Oh my goodness, what a jam. Franco Miller Jr., that'll make the highlight reel. Oh, Woo. my. Just watch this explosion rise up, and that's an absolute poster. Wow. Lions with a basketball. Brown. Oh, blocked away nicely by Rivers. Here comes FGCU. Anderson looking to create, spins up with the right hand, so good. Great defense there by Dallas Howell, but a greater finish by Anderson. It's ripped away. Barno with the basketball. Barno contact high off the glass, and we've got ourselves a one-point game. These teams just continue to trade blows and just show how good they are offensively. What a game here in the A-Sun. A screen, 
Open again, three-point shot. Thompson, yes! Wow. Thompson used that ball screen twice. Too strong with it. Fulcher tried to follow it up. A rebound by Rivers, and here comes the other way. A tip up and good this time by Largy. Florida Gulf Coast is going to race it down there. And North Alabama wants to talk about it. Seven minutes, two seconds, a timeout called by North Alabama. Four-point FGCU lead. Man, FGCU has kind of found their rhythm a little bit. Let's come on now. They're going to keep letting number 11 go to work. Long three from the top, no good. And a rebound here from K.J. Johnson, and he comes flying in and bangs into the scores table. And I hope K.J.'s okay. It's a pretty tough lick right there. Working against Damian Forrest. Pull up right side. It won't go. But FGCU controls it with an offensive board. Up top, Thompson the three. Missed it. Look at Big Rivers pulling that rebound. And that's two huge offensive boards for the Eagles. That's just what they do. 12 offensive rebounds now for Florida Gulf Coast. A drive into the lane, high off the glass. Big basket there. Again for Thompson. Jakari Lane with the basketball. Into the lane, lays it up, two-point game. Jakari Lane ties it up. Calm, cool, collected customer is Jakari Lane. A 6-0 run for North Alabama. Shot clock winding down. Look at the defense by North Alabama. Anderson, left side, fade away. What a big shot right there from Anderson. He loves his mid-range game, and we talked about it. Now the Eagles in a zone of their own. They've gone with the chess match here. K.J. Johnson gets the contact in the lane, stops the clock with 47 seconds left. Rolls that one in. Continue to trust those two guys. Tie game. It's on the right wing. That's Thompson to drive into the lane. It's tipped up. Whistle. Foul on the floor. K.J. Johnson back to the line. First one. Got it. Got it. How about the lines? They were down six. We talked about can you find stops. Right side. That's Thompson. Pull up. Free throw line. Got it. 8.6. Can the Lions win it here? So calm, so poised. Jakari Lane takes it into the rack, puts it up. There's Whistle and a foul with one second left. And you had to know Jakari Lane was going to the rack. Impressive shot. One point game. 21 for Jakari Lane. And he missed it, but it did not hit the rim. So if you miss on purpose, you've got to hit the rim. So regardless, now what happens is it goes back to 1.6. A foul. Wow. Wow. And that's what we talked about. Yes. You couldn't do. You had to show your hands. He doesn't show his hands. He wraps him up. It's Zach Anderson to the free throw line. 66% free throw shooter. You're going to see it. Just keep your eye on number 23, Tim Smith, Jr. Let Anderson go catch that. When you wrap him up around the hips, that's a great call. You, you can't wrap up. Just show your hands. You've got him. He's not facing the basket. He was facing away. It's a one-and-one, one, Brian Meese. Crowd roaring. You said what, though? Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> what you guys? <laughs> oh, bro. Say something to the YouTube channel. What's up, guys? <laughs> you probably bad. You took my heart and said it. You took my eight, bro. Hey, Chuck.
<laughs> bro, this man back hurt so bad, bro. Right. Bro, keep. Bro, can you can you do a proper toe touch right now? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Try, 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 try touching your toes right now. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Keyshawn. Can you H up? Kyle, H up. <laughs> XP, H up. Let's go. Oh, you. <laughs> Come on, Frank. Uh, oh, Frank! Come on, Frank. Hey. Hey, it look like it hurt, Frank. <laughs> it look like it hurt, Frank. Anything you want to say to the YouTube channel? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Connor. You want to say anything to the YouTube channel? I'm okay. I can teach for this. <laughs> Why he just do that? <laughs> Trap straight. <laughs> we all right. What the f we always good, yo. Stop putting that thing. <laughs> Alabama. Hey, so. Turn it recording. Turn it recording. Hey, Can you see our handshake? Let's go. Damn. He hit his head. Play YouTube, bro. Play YouTube. Come on, YouTube. Stop putting me in the damn video. <laughs> okay, Jake, can you say something for my uh, YouTube? How's it going? That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I already said something. Yeah. That boy Shaggy ain't good. <laughs> Checks. You good? <laughs> Luke, H up. <laughs> it's the little things in life. H up. <laughs> Alright, hold this one? Sure. Alright, hold this one? Yeah, yeah, I got you. H up, H up. Good. <laughs> hey, shout out to Dakota Rivers, man. One of the greatest. Okay, stop it. Stop capping. I don't know why he gassed. Yeah, bro. Like, you're not, you're not, you're not all that. Do you have anything to say to the YouTube channel? Uh, subscribe, my man, Dr. Great content. Every game, game days. You know, get with it. <laughs>